Alex Rodriguez speaking for the first time about his reported positive test for steroids back in 2003. He sat down with our Peter Gammons just moments ago at his home in Miami. Alex, this weekend Sports Illustrated reported that, uh, that in 2003 you tested positive for testosterone and an anabolic steroid known as Primobolin. What's the truth? When I arrived in Texas in 2001, uh, I felt uh, an enormous amount of pressure. I felt like I had all the weight of, of the world on top of me and I needed to perform and perform at a high level every day. Um, back then it was a different culture. Um, it was very loose. Uh, I was young. I was stupid. Um, I was naive. And, and I wanted to prove to everyone that, you know, I was worth, um, you know, and being one of the greatest players uh, of, of, of all time. And uh, I, did, I did take a banned substance. And, um, you know, for that, uh, I'm very sorry and deeply regretful. And although it was a culture back then, and, uh, and, and Major League Baseball overall um, was very, I'm just, I just feel that, um, you know, I, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry for that time. I'm sorry to my fans. Uh, I'm sorry for my fans in Texas. It wasn't until then that I ever thought about substance uh, of any kind. Um, and since then, I've proved uh, to myself and to everyone that I don't need any of that. So you're saying that the time period was 2001, two, and three? Mm, that's pretty accurate, yes. And what, what kind of substances were you taking? Peter, that's the thing. I mean, again, it was such a, a loosey-goosey era that that's... I'm guilty for a lot of things. I'm guilty for being negligent, naive, uh, not asking all the right questions. And uh, uh, to be quite honest, I, I don't know exactly what um, substance I was, I was guilty of using. 